What is up, guys? I'm Brad Mew, your coach of the Grassy Plains Ryakus. Um, this is actually the second week of the GBA. We are going against the Toronto Blue Shamans. Kinder plays game. YouTube link will be in the description. Um, we got an awesome, awesome battle today. Uh, really back and forth battle right here. Um, so I do suggest you stick till the end. Uh, very haxy as well, but um, before the video starts, please drop a like below. And if you're new, subscribe. I'm your coach of the Grassy Plains Ryakus. Um, this week, he had a really, really, really threatening team. Uh, he could have actually brought, instead of, uh, he actually had the Breloom, which I was really fearing. Um, I was actually going to bring my Zangus. I did not want a double two fighting weakness on that te my team, though. Um, he did bring the Hitmonlee. Not quite sure if it was carrying Rapid Spin, but I did want to keep my Stealth Rocks, so I did not bring the Collect Pete or the Ferretris, since he did not did have the Char Charizard there. Um, so I actually just hooked my Stealth Rocks onto my Chansey this time for this round. I'll go through the sets right now. Um, we got a Defensive Weezing, Max Defense, Max HP. Uh, more of a support set has will o -Wisps, Pain Split, Sludge Bomb, and Flamethrower. One of the MVPs for this match. Uh, Swycoon, uh, Max Special Defense, Max HP. Uh, pretty clutch in this match too. It does get a couple kills. Um, running Scald, Ice Beam, Miracle, and Tailwind, because I knew he needed to get the Tailwind up so it, uh, I can speed some of the stuff that he could have possibly brought. Um, special Defensive Chansey, Max HP, Max Social Defense. I'm running kind of a different set, uh, actually running the Stealth Rocks in this set with Roman Therapy, uh, Stop Foiled, and Seismic Toss. Uh, we're actually running a Citrus Berry, uh, Defensive Rotom Heat. This is actually the thing that really breaks this match. Um, I'm actually max defense, max speed on this Rotom, so I'll tell you guys more that, about that actually on the end of the match. I'm really preparing that thing actually for the some of the threats they actually probably, possibly brought, actually for more for the Charger and stuff like that. Um, once the Gastron and stuff like that was gone too. Uh, Mega Charizard X, uh, max speed, max attack, Jolly Nature, uh, Dragon Dance, Roost, Dragon Cl or Outrage, and Flare Blitz. And we got the Scarf Chomp uh, this week with Brick Break, because I knew he was going to bring in either the Porygon or the Ridge Rock. Uh, Brick Break, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Iron Head. Um, he has a really big threats over there, uh, especially the Hitmonlee, which is a really big threat, and along with the Gastron. Those two completely shut down my team. Everything else I do have kind of a counter for, except for the Kingdra. Um, I need to get my Garchomp in on that thing. So I'm going to uh, start this up. He's going to his Drapion. I actually either predicted him to leave with his, either his Kingdra or his Drapion, so I was correct. I live with my Weezing. Uh, this thing can't really do too much to me. I knew it was knock knockoff was coming my way, so I'm just going to burn this thing, get this threat out of the way, neutralize this thing as fast as I can. Uh, I did not want this thing really causing anything on my team. Uh, also, it could be a Pursuit Trapper, so I did not want Pursuit being really big of a deal, so that's why I burned this thing turn one. Uh, he's going to switch out here. Uh, I have n nothing to really touch this thing with. I, was, I went for a flamethrower just to see how much it would do. Um, gonna go with this Plorygon here. I actually snag a crit here with this flamethrower. It doesn't really matter too much because this thing is so bulky the way it is. So it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I'm gonna. I'm actually going to predict either a Psy Shock or a Psychic here and go out to my Chansey. Um, I know my Chansey can at least take one Psy Shock if it does carry it. He's actually going to pack the Psychic. I can eat that pretty much. Pretty good. Um, I knew he was either going to switch out or try going for a Thunder Wave or something like that. So I'm going to set my Stealth Rocks up here. He's going to go into his Gas Down, which is a big threat to my team. I need to get this thing out of the way as fast as possible so at least my Rotom can at least do some work to his team. Uh, once this thing's gone, it can really, really start doing work. Uh, this is like the only thing in front of the way because it does have the ground typing. I'm going to go for the Seismic, talk at seismic Toss. Can't talk today. Uh, it actually is a Rocky Helmet, so I do know its item now. Uh, he's gonna actually go for a stall, skull, get the burn. Um, I actually brought kind of a wrong Chansey. This actually, this Chansey does not have the natural cure, so I am actually forced to go for a Roman therapy here. Um, I actually have a string grace Chansey. I don't know why I did not realize that when I was um, getting this, so kind of sucks. Don't know if it would have would have been a factor in this match. I uh, didn't do too, do too much though. It's gonna be kind of getting a little bit stally right at this point now. Um, basically he's going to go for Scald and, and Recover and stuff like that. I'm just going to go for a Soft Void here. I know I need, need to get my HP up a little bit more. I'm going to go for another Seismic Toss here. Even though I do take the Rocky Ammo damage each time, I am doing 50 damage each time. Assuming it's more of a defensive 
um, Gastrodon, since it does have the Rocky Helmet. You're, I think it's assuming it's defensive at this point in the game. He's actually going to go for Earth Power here, predicting a switch. Uh, I'm not quite sure why he did that. Uh, probably just seeing how much what one does more. I'm going to actually go into Weezing here, uh, predicting either an Earth Power or a Recover. He's going to go for a Recover here. Uh, not really too much behind that play. Uh, more of a straightforward play on his part. I'm uh, going to go for a Will Wisp here. I actually was really debating either carrying Toxic on this thing. Toxic on this or my Chansey. Uh, I did not though. I actually thought he was going to bring his Cray Dilly instead. So. He's going to get a Crit Skull. doesn't matter. I actually have the Pain Split on this thing. So we can at least get a decent amount of HP back. Assuming this thing is actually max HP. Um, defensive Gastrodon. We do get at least decent HP back when we bring him down to the yellow. Uh, Skull is going to do a lot though. I'm not special defensive one bit. So I'm more of defensive. I'm actually max defense max HP. Like I said earlier. So. Not really made to the... Uh, take a, a lot of um, special defensive hits. I actually was using my. I actually at this point I actually pulled out my damage calculator. Um, it had a 65% chance to actually kill. I got low rolled on that sludge bomb right there. I'm. I think I'm actually modest nature, so I'm assuming I was modest. It did have a 65% chance to kill. I got low rolled, so that's the reason why that did not did not kill at that point. I was really screwed there. So I had no point but to switch out to my chance here. I knew a skull was coming this way. So I have to go out my chance. At least I can absorb pretty damn good. Um, why the burn? We do have the burn on the side, so it's pretty good. Uh, he's going to switch out here. Uh, going to, into the drape down here. And we're able to get a... a uh, he's going to take a stealth rock damage. able to get a seismic toss on this thing. This thing is basically a fodder for his side now. It, since it's burned, it's basically really neutralized. So he's going to use this thing more as fodder and stuff like that. He's going to actually... I think the play behind this is actually going to go out to this and go for a knockoff. So I break the knockoff. Gonna go into my Charizard X here. Cannot knock off a Mega Stone, so um, Charizard can like at least take a little bit of reduced damage. Plus, it's burned, so it does like nothing. Even though I'm not defensive defense, so uh, burn is slowly gonna dwindle down. Actually, if right here, if I would have set up a Dragon Dance, I was really, really debating setting up a Dragon Dance, assuming this thing could not touch me. Right here, if I would have set up a Dragon Dance, I really would have swept his team even more. Um, however, I do not. I'm just gonna go for a Flare Blitz here. Uh, the Flare Blitz actually was the right play though, because I actually ha happened to actually uh, snag a crit right here. Kind of a hacksy battle, I do admit, but um, quite a few crits. Well, really a lot of crits actually, so I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz. I'm max attack, max speed. I'm, I think I'm actually jolly. I do snag the crit, otherwise I think it would have been a 2 hit KO, but I'm going to take a decent amount of recoil. I'm not really worried about it because I do have the Roost if anything like that does need to be Roosted. I'm going to go into his gas down here again. I'm assuming it's offensive at this point, so I'm just going to lock myself into Outrage. This Charizard, I really don't need this Charizard for anything else. Um, basically at this point I'm trying to get as much damage off as I can with this thing before it goes down. Uh, I really wanted to fodder this thing off. I did not really need it for much else except for maybe for the Kingdra. Uh, without a Dragon Dance, maybe I should have kept this thing around for the Kingdra, but then again I don't know if I would outspeed after one Dragon Dance. If I would have set up a Dragon Dance too, I probably would have outsped this thing after, even after the Inburden Boost. So, he's actually going to go for Rock Slide. I was actually really prepared for this thing with my Rotom, because I knew my Rotom was going to eventually come up against either this Hitmonlee or his Breloom. So that's why I did invest in defense on my Rotom. Um, that's really why I prepared that more defensively, because I knew he was going to go up against one of these guys with Rock Slide and something like that. Either that or the Grey Daily. So, um, going to go into Swicoon here. He's going to go into his... Uh, Drapion, just to sack it off. It's going to take rock damage. Maybe if I would have set up the Tailwind right here, uh, it would have been a really good play. Uh, but I'm just going to go for Scald. I wanted to get a burn on that Hitmonlee. I really wanted to get that burn and get some damage off on the thing because I know it's a super big threat to my team. Uh, I'm just going to take out the Drapion. He's going to fire it off. Since you have the Stealth Rocks up, it is going to help me against the Charizard. Take it down to 50%. Uh, he's going to Mega Evolve here. This here actually was, this Swicoon was actually pretty prepared for this Charizard. I max with defense, max HP. I actually barely end up eating this solar beam up. I knew a solar beam was coming my way, so I'm going to go for the Miracle right here. Uh, Scald would not have taken it out. It would take it down to about probably like 10%. I did calc it. So, uh, Scald would not have killed since it was in the sun. I'm going to live on 20 here. Uh, he, actually, he actually did get a high roll, so um, that's why I got so low. I am max special defense though, so it should not have did that much, but he got a little bit of a high roll right there. So that kind of sucks, but I do have the leftovers, so we can at least get some HP back. Uh, pretty low here though. Which kind of sucks, because anything he wants to send in right now would actually come in and start setting up. Uh, this Kingdra here, really, really, really had nothing for this thing. Um, it's going to stay in here and try to get a burn. Uh, I actually thought this thing was either 
um, leftovers or something like that at the time. I'm going to actually set up the Tailwind right here too, because I knew he was going to either set up a Dragon Dance or set up Agility. So, did not really quite know at this time what uh, Kingdra it was, either it was Sniper or if it was uh, Swift Swim. I'm assuming it was Sniper because he does have the Sun with the Charizard, so I'm assuming it's probably Sniper Kingdra. He's going to keep setting up Dragon Dances. Maybe at this point I should have kept my Charizard X around because maybe at the first Dragon Dance I probably should have switched on to my Garchomp since my Garchomp is Scarfed. And I still would have speed at one Dragon Dance, so maybe that was the right play. Did not think of it at the time. or completely slipped my mind. I do apologize for that. So, really, really got screwed right there. Uh, he's just going to set up. I have no no counters for this thing. My Weezing is so low, I can't even hit live one hit. If I, my Weezing was at max HP, I could live one hit at plus three still. But like probably like around 10 to 20 percent HP. So do we have, happen to snag the burn on the second skull? Doesn't matter anyways because he actually reveals that he's a lumberry. So at this point I was like, oh shit, um, this thing's about to sweep my team. So I better brace for this thing to start sweeping. He's gonna go for the outrage. Uh, that's gonna take me out. I'm not invested in defense whatsoever. Even though I do have some decent defensive bulk, I'm not invested in whatsoever. So that's, it's gonna take me out. And at this point, actually, my Tailwind actually pewters out too. If my Tailwind was still probably up, I still would probably outsped with my Garchomp. But since that went down, um, just going to go on to Chansey here. My Chansey had really no use at this point. The only thing he had left was his Hitmonlee and this. So, um, just going to go in there and stack that off. Hopefully, we actually get a Confusion. He does not. Uh, it's going to be a three-turn Outrage, which really sucks. Going to go into Weezing here. Not going to eat anything up. I did not expect to live this at all. It's plus three. If I was at full HP, I would have lived at like around about 10 to 20%. But, um... Going to go, go out to Garchomp here, hoping he would hit, hit himself in his confusion. Uh, really, really unfortunate that he does not here. He's going to go for Outrage. If I was Focus Sash, which I'm not, I'm actually Choice Scarfed. Uh, Choice Scarf affects Garchomp actually did a lot. Just, uh, I have the Rock Slide for the, the Charizard, the Earthquake for the Drapion. Um, Iron Head for the Cray Daily and the Regirock and stuff like that. So, um, he's going to hit himself here. It does a lot since he's at plus three. Able to get the Thunderbolt off here. I'm surprised it's actually killed. I'm um, assuming I'm not actually invested in special attack. Um, either that or he did not have, he's not very special defensive, Kingdra. So, this here's what it really came down to. It was either me and my Rotom. I knew I was going to be going up against this thing, so that's why I did invest a little bit in defense. Uh, that figure out does do a lot still. He's going to go for a Rock Slide. I, he actually outspeeds by one base point. So, right here is the ending factor. He actually gets a crit right here. I did calculate I would have lived on like around about 20 to 30 percent if there was no crit. So um, the crit actually won him the game right there, which really really sucked. But uh, GG man, that was actually a really good battle. I really liked that battle anyways. So it was really fun. Um, if you guys didn't make it this far, please drop a subscription below um, if you are new, and drop a like below if you did enjoy. Um, next week we're actually going against the Los Angeles Selgors. So. Um, Gonna have to start preparing for that too. I've been a lot of work and shit lately, so I'm kind of tired. Uh, anyways, that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. See you guys next time.